Good morning. Welcome to First Baptist Church of San Antonio. I am truly honored to get to greet you this morning and welcome you here. If you are joining us online and on broadcast, thank you for joining us today. We are honored that you're with us today. We just filled out some commitment cards a couple weeks ago, and commitment has been on my mind and in my prayers. The church has plenty of examples of people committing to the work, committing to work. We have things that we can visually see like Kurt Voss and the chandeliers and all the metalworking that he's done over the years. We can see the church committing to the Burmese refugees, coming through, walking alongside them, giving them a place to be and to grow and to be on their own. We didn't just say, here's some stuff, see you later. We took them in. That takes commitment. We've also committed to the homebound. We've committed to people who aren't able to be with us regularly on Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us. And I'd like to share another example of what we see as people of the body of Christ committing to the work of the Lord. And I'm going to go all the way back into Exodus chapter 31. And I had a go at trying to say the names of some of these people. And I just ask for your forgiveness. Okay, I'm going to be in Exodus 31, starting in verse 1. I'll be reading 1 through 6. Now the Lord spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Ur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all kinds of craftsmanship, to be to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings, and the carving of wood that may not that may work in all kinds of craftsmanship. And behold, I myself have appointed him Aholiab, the son of Ahisamah of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all who are skillful, I have put skill, that they may make all that I have commanded you. The phrase here, it says, this is from the Lord, and in the hearts of all who are skillful, I have put skill, that they may make all that I have commanded you. And in chapter 38, guess what? They completed the work. It's awesome. I am asking you to commit to something for the Lord. What does it look like? So many of us get the opportunity to experience the worship here, to hear the word of God and to go home and to live on that for the week. No judgment here. I am, however, asking as a brother in Christ to search your heart, to find something and a ministry and a calling to commit to. And obviously, I have an opportunity for you right now. (laughs) But seriously, I want you to search your heart, not what I'm about to propose to you. Because each of us have been designed specifically for a beautiful and wonderful work. Right? But here's the thing. We've been doing this TV thing for 51 years. We've been committed And honestly, over the past four years, we've been short of our financial needs. We just have. So I was trying to think of a way to encourage us to continue this commitment, to continue this journey together. And I hoped to find a way to to put this in biceps because the numbers are so big, it doesn't make sense to me and my family. So for me and my family to go to Chick-fil-A, it costs a little over 50 bucks. I got six people in my family. I got four boys. I'm doing good, okay? And if you're starting to get hungry for Chick-fil-A now, I'm sorry, it's Sunday, they're closed. (laughs) But here's the thing. If a thousand of us give $30 a month, every month, we will meet our financial goals every year. $30. $30. That's less than what it takes my family to go to Chick-fil-A. So we'll go to Chick-fil-A one last time in the month and give that $30 to this ministry. And I ask for you to find a way to do something similar. That's all I ask. Thank you for hearing the heart of the TV ministry. Thank you for continuing your commitment to serve the Lord and however he chooses to use you. Now, if you'll join me with me in prayer. Lord God, we love you so much. 
We thank you for the honor to serve you, to give you everything that we have through the talents you've blessed us with. Let us continue to commit to your work and your will and your ways. We love you in your son's holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen.